So I recently had a chance to go to the Ooh. Hope Revival Tour with Sarah J. Yes. Carver in Jacksonville, Florida. Mm-hmm. I had a chance to ask her a question. Here's my question. Your question. My name is Aretha Simonson from Orlando, Florida. Hey, Sarah, I know that you're a woman in ministry, and we know Moses, Moses, but tell us about the business side. I bet if you survey everybody here, half of us have a separate nonprofit, but we also need to focus on the business side. Can you tell us something that we need to know about the business side Ooh. of ministry? <laughs> because there's a lot of things to know about the business side of ministry. Um, I think that really being clear on what the ministry is. So when I first started Woman Evolve, I wanted to make sure that like, though we're gonna have experiences like this that do have the ticket fee connected to it, like there's money that goes into this. They didn't let us come in here for free. We got four buses in the back. They like to have gas to move. So there is, (laughs) they do, it's weird. They like to have gas. Our staff that is here, like they've been away from their family for two weeks. When they come home and they have a check, it makes it a lot easier because the lights get to stay on. Um, But there's also my desire to make sure that we don't see people as profit. And so I feel like it's my responsibility to make sure that we have as many opportunities as possible for people to experience what we do for free. Our social media is really intentional during the pandemic. Thank you. We have a weekly devotional that goes out. We have the podcast. We do Hey You, which was like just weekly or monthly Bible study that was free of charge. And so the first thing that I have to do in my heart is make sure that not everything has a price tag connected to. So that for the women who can invest, they don't miss out on what God is saying, right? Because it's, yeah. Um, And then I think when we do experiences like this, we try to make sure that it still feels reasonable and that we aren't just like taking advantage of the influence or taking advantage of like the name because people want to come hear me speak because I think that that's when you really start to get in trouble with God. And so now that's like the foundation of it. The second thing I will say is like get an accountant, understand employment laws, understand the Department of Transportation won't let the bus driver stay on the road for a certain amount of time so there's a lot of legal side to it that you don't get to just pray your way through a lawsuit for and so if you don't know it make sure that you're willing to at least spend an hour talking to someone who does know it so you understand what the parameters are for whatever the dream is that God has for your life different when you have